So here's our 2018 Heartland Mallard M245 on our first camping trip at Yona Campground in Yona Mountain, Georgia. Or it's close to Helen, Georgia. It's about 60 miles north of where we lived. <clears throat> we figured it was a good uh, shakedown run, I guess, to kind of get this thing figured out. So I'm just going to go over all the things that we bought or that we're actually using um, after our first set up here and uh, determine if we did it right uh, in the future. First let's talk about our tow vehicle that we used to tow the Heartland Mallard M245. It is a 2004 Nissan Titan 5.6 liter SE with the big tow package. Now the big tow package basically means it has extended mirrors as well as a different rear end for towing. So as far as uh, towing upgrades that we did to it, the first thing we did purchase was an equalizer, anti-sway, and weight distribution hitch. Um, obviously we had to get the drop shank because the truck does have a six inch pro comp lift installed. Uh, so we had to get the weight uh, or the, the hitch ball down. So we needed that drop shank. Um, as far as the performance of the hitch so far, we did go on the highway a little bit. Uh, didn't experience any sway. So that worked out pretty well. And the weight distribution seemed to be sufficient as well. I don't see any or very minimal squat in the truck, so it feels really good and, and planted to the ground. All right, the next thing that we did to the Nissan Titan for get it ready for towing is I did add a Roadmaster active suspension uh, system to the to the rear leaf springs. It's kind of basically like an overload spring. Uh, this truck does have Deaver leaf springs in the back with the. Uh, with my lift kit and and also has all, uh, rancho rs 9000 shocks all around so like i said the truck felt pretty pretty good and stiff going down the road uh, didn't have very much squat uh, and uh, i'm pretty happy with the performance of the roadmaster pretty much eliminated uh, any axle wrap that i used to have before you know not even being hitched up so it's a definitely i definitely recommend that system uh, for your truck the other thing that we did add to the truck for towing is a uh, Prodigy P3 uh, brake controller. Uh, I, I read on online this was a, a pretty decent one, so I went ahead with it. This truck, since it has the big tow package, was pre-wired for a brake controller, so the installation for me was pretty easy. Just basically uh, mount the bracket and plug it in. Uh, now. As far as the brakes and the, the trailer using this, I, I did my best. I set it about 7.5. Uh, it felt pretty fluid, I guess, as far as braking with the truck and you know the not getting pushed or pulled by the RV or the travel trailer. So uh, felt pretty good. I'm happy with it. So the last thing we added as far as towing upgrades was an aftermarket transmission cooler. I did a uh, was it Long Pro LPD? I think 28,000. Uh, pound one so the reason I did that is when I did tow the trailer home the transmission temps were good until I was backing it up into my driveway which I guess that's kind of expected since we don't you know we are not uh, using very many rpms or or I don't know why the technical reason is but I felt more uh, safe putting in a another transmission cooler in this uh, just to keep the temps down and of course I use all AMS oil fluids in this thing in the uh, tranny in the transfer case in the front and rear differential so uh, our uh, our attempts while towing on this first trip were pretty good uh, everything stayed in the normal range and uh, uh, had no concern. We'll move on to the trailer and all the things we got going on here um, so we'll start at the front here at right, the hitch uh, first of all I lost the pin that uh, is used to uh, lock the uh, uh, hitch pin down so I went ahead and just bought one that was locking. I thought that was a good idea. Um, uh, this way it, we can keep it secure while we're not here. No one can take off of it. I don't know if that anybody would, but I mean, it's, like I said, I lost the pin somehow. I thought I put it in a safe place. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere, but who knows where it is at this point. So that was the first thing we did here, the front end. Uh, another thing we did on this M245, the um, propane tanks cover isn't strapped down at all now i'm not familiar with travel trailers and if they typically are but i didn't feel comfortable with that because i could slide it off pretty easily so i just wrapped a bungee cord around it uh, this way we don't have to worry about it flying away on the highway 
Um, the other thing that's here is up front, as you can see, is our equalizer, anti-sway, and weight distribution setup. Uh, there's our battery, and uh, yeah, nothing really else going on here. Uh, so if we come around the side, uh, one thing that we did buy is these Camco uh, stabilizer jack pads. Uh, so you can see that we're definitely using them, and uh, they seem to work out well. They store well, and they uh, do the job. Um, if we open up our box here, we got a bunch of junk in here. Um, we do. I did get a bunch of these bins from Home Depot to store stuff in, uh, bungee cords. Uh, of course, we got walkie-talkies uh, so we can communicate when we're backing up and doing stuff. Here's our equalizer. Um, we do distribution bars. Uh, here's our camping chairs and stuff. So there's just some miscellaneous junk in here. But it's got a really good storage, this front storage. Uh, it's totally passed through. Um, and, uh, well... We've got, we've got a lot of junk in there. Uh, we did pick up some firewood so we can maybe have a fire tonight or whatever. Uh, another thing we bought, it didn't come with in the, this travel trailer. We bought these Camco carpet uh, step covers. So it uh, kind of keeps some dirt out and also our dog likes to step on the carpet instead of the metal a little better off. So. Um, that was a pretty cool upgrade so far. Happy with that one. Um, here's the rest of the travel trailer. Um, as far as for leveling, we did get the Camco. Uh, I think they call them, people call them Lego blocks or blocks. But uh, I'll put links to, to all the things that we bought in the description. Um, but yeah, so obviously we had to use them to get a level. We only had to use one on this side. Uh, but, uh, you know, basically I just brought a... Uh, three foot level put it on the floor on the inside and just use that to level it out so this worked out pretty well um, as you can see we also got some chocks and uh, you know, I just got cheapo ones from Walmart uh, they seem to do the job they don't look like they're doing much right now but, uh, but they're there um, so I'll just keep uh, touring of the Mallard M245 <clears throat> and this model has a outdoor kitchen in the back as well so we got a little fridge we got a little stove top now i would really like to make this into a grill instead of a stove top so i'm going to be looking into that but then there's a sink got an outlet and a cable jack as well so oh, it's a neat neat little spot there they call it the outdoor party center so we'll see how many parties we have um my hitch i put the uh sewer hoses in there that worked out well because i kind of wanted to keep them separate from everything else all right uh here is another compartment in the back i have uh, i got some hand cleaner in here i got uh, an extension cord and i got a couple bins uh, back here and this first bin uh, what we got in here so uh, this is my this is my sewer bin so i keep all my sewer fittings uh, and stuff though because I just want to keep that separate from everything else in this bin uh, we'll, we'll get to the side and show you all that stuff but this is for the uh, side winder for keep the sewer hose off the ground got a um, special hose to do sewer cleaning stuff and then there's some caps and fittings in this one so yeah so this is my sewer junk box I got another little box in here. Our electrical and oh, yep, I got a box of disposable gloves for working with the sewer because I don't want to touch that. And I thought that this would be better instead of dedicated set of gloves because they can get wet and funky. So you can know, use these and you throw them out. So that's good. Um, well, I got a. This is a 30 amp trailer, so I did also pick up a. Uh, an adapter which goes so in case we get to a site that only has 50 amps so we have a 50 to 30 amp adapter we have a 30 amp to 15 amp adapter for at home use that one at home i got a rubber mallet extension cord and a surge protector uh, i also have this old 30 amp to 15 amp adapter we used to use this when we were camping a lot so 
that's going to be, that is my electrical box. So I'm gonna put it. And then it stores pretty nice in this, this little compartment in the back of the mallard. Um, it's got a small opening, but it's really tall, so you can uh, get a lot of stuff in there. That's that one. So there's our spare tire. And uh, so here's our driver's side, I guess you would call it, of the travel trailer. And uh, so we'll start right here, starting with the water inlet. I did my lots of research on the internet, and I, you know, I did go with the 90 degree adapter for the city water connection. I did get a water filter for that, and then you know, obviously a hose um, to connect to the connection. Uh, so we did go as far as the sewer connection. We went with the uh, what was it, Rhino Flex hose, and as you can see. I did get the, uh, I think it's 30 foot setup, which comes with two hoses. And here we are, my first experience, and I actually needed two hoses. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, there are some sites that obviously you're gonna need a longer hose to hook up to. Um, so here's our 30 amp connection to the trailer. This this cable came with the RV, so we didn't need to buy that. Here is the. Uh, sewer hose bridge I guess it is uh, that we're using that to kind of slope it down to the to the pipe I did buy a, uh, a clear angle here you know, just so they can so we can see what might be coming out so if we go over to our connections there's the other end of the rhino hose it had a fitting that screwed right into the uh, sewer hose the sewer pipe and then actually we, you know we have a, a clear elbow there as well um, so as far as the electric I did get a uh, circuit uh, breaker uh, surge protector here uh, this is a Camco one as you can see um, yeah, seems to work good we got power on the inside um, other than that the last thing we did get was a pressure regulator so I went with this one because it uh, as you can see we're pushing a little, little over 40 psi I'm not sure what it actually should be but that's what we're using right now uh, this one's neat because you can adjust the pressure up and down and it also has a gauge so that's why I went with that one so <clears throat> all in all that's pretty much it that we're using right now well here's the rest of the pass through I have more bins uh, but uh, pretty happy with the setup and uh, We'll do a video of the inside of this thing, so uh, if anyone's interested in this model, you can kind of see how we got it set up. Hi, Lulu. Hanging out in the RV.